Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Central Baptist Church. Bienvenidos todos a la Iglesia Bautista Central. We're going to get started with our service. Va empezar nuestro servicio. What a blessing to be in together. Que bendición hacer juntos. I was going to say in the house of the Lord, but we're together with the Lord. Estamos juntos con el Señor. We're going to begin by singing. Vamos, vamos a empezar cantando. And then we'll get into the preaching. This was el predicación. Let's go get ready to sing this morning. Amen. Start out with look to the Lamb of God. Amen. If you from sin are longing to be free, look to the Lamb of God. He to redeem you died on Calvary. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For He alone is able to save you. Look to the Lamb of God. When Satan tempts and doubts and fears assail, look to the Lamb of God. You in his strength shall over all prevail. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For he alone is able to save you. Look to the Lamb of God. Fear not when shadows on your pathway fall. Look to the Lamb of God. Enjoy your sorrow, Christ is all in all. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For He alone is able to save you. Look to the Lamb of God. I'm grateful for the Lamb of God. Soy agradecido por el Cordero de Dios. I'm grateful that Jesus completed the law. Soy agradecido que Jesucristo cumplí la ley. I'm glad I don't have to give animal sacrifices. Soy agradecido que no necesito dar los sacrificios de animales. He was the last lamb. Él era el último Cordero. He can save you. Él puede salvar. Look to the Lamb of God. Look to the Lamb of God. For he alone is able to save you. Look to the Lamb of God. How about grace that is greater than our sin? Gracia que es más grande que nuestro pecado. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sin. Dark is the stain that we cannot hide. What can we do to wash it away? Look, there is flowing a crimson tide. Brighter than snow you may be today. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that is greater than all our sin. Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace. Freely bestowed on all who believe. You that are longing to see His face. Will you this moment His grace? 
grace receive grace grace god's grace grace that will pardon and cleanse within grace grace god's grace grace that is greater than all our sin hallelujah hallelujah Glory to God, glory a Dios. His grace is greater, su gracia es más grande que necesitas. Amen, what a blessing, que bendición. Good to see everyone. Uh, que bendición a mirar todos. <laughs> I just like to say that. Yo me gusta decir eso. I, I can see your pictures on the cell phone. Yo puedo mirar sus fotos en el celular. Um, just want to let you know that we are uh, paying attention to the mandates coming from the governor, coming from the judges. Estamos en a, a, a poniendo atención a los mandamientos de, del gobernador, de los jueces. Uh, we are paying attention to what uh, is going on with churches. Está poniendo atención que está pasando en las iglesias. The governor is going to talk more on Monday. El gobernador va a hablar más en lunes. Uh, as of now, the stay-at-home order in Cameron County is still until May the 4th. Hasta ahorita, al quedar en casa um, regla, es hasta el 4 de mayo. And so we are going to continue online. Va a seguir online. And we will take it step by step. Va, va a ser paso por paso. We will be wise. Vamos a ser sabios. And uh, uh, we will do it uh, based on the Lord, va a ser basado en el Señor, based on wise counsel, basado en consejo sabio, and based on uh, the law, y basado en la ley. So, uh, continue to join with us here on Facebook. Seguid juntando con uh, nosotros en Facebook, and after the service we put it on YouTube, y después de servicio pone en YouTube. Uh, looking forward to what the Lord's going to do. Uh, 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 Alientado a mirar que Dios va a hacer. Thank you, church, for being faithful in your giving. Gracias, iglesia, por ser fiel en su dar. Uh, we were able to meet all the bills. Podía pagar todos los billes. Uh, we were able to pay the missionaries. Podía pagar los misioneros. And so God has been good all the time. Dios es fiel todo el tiempo. Uh, you still have three ways to give. Tiene tres maneras a dar online on our website. Uh, pueden dar online en nuestro website. That's centralbaptistharlingentexas.com uh, You can uh, send a check to our post office box. Pueden mandar cheque a nuestro um, caja de correo. Or you can drop it off at the church the days that I am there. O pueden dejar en la iglesia los días que yo estoy allí. And church, I will let you know when that is. Y iglesia, yo va a avisar cuando es... Es ese tiempo. That's for the church. Esto es para la iglesia. Thank you for giving. Gracias por dar. Let's do a little bit more singing. Vamos a seguir cantando. And uh, we're going to sing the song we sang last week. He touched me. Vamos a cantar. El tocó a mí. Shackled by a heavy burden. Neath a load of guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me, and now I am no longer the same. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Whoops, I went one too, bad, one too far. Since I've met this blessed Savior, since He cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise Him. I'll shout it while eternity rolls. He touched me. Oh, he 
touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. January 1992, Enero 1992, God touched me. It was a Sunday night in church. Era un domingo en la tarde en la iglesia. God touched me. Dios tocó a mí. God called me. Dios llamó a mí. God convicted me. Dios dio a mi convicción. And I was saved. Yo era salvo. You can be saved today. Tú puedes ser salvo esta mañana. You're going to hear about that in the message. Va a escuchar de esto en el mensaje. Since I met this blessed Savior. Since he cleansed and made me whole. I will never cease. To praise him, I'll shout it while eternity rolls. He touched me, oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me. And made me whole. I'm glad he made me whole. Yo soy agradecido que él hizo a mí completo. I'm glad I'm saved. Yo soy agradecido que yo soy salvo. Praise the Lord. Gloria a Dios. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Isaías 55, 8 y 9. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55, 8 and 9. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 says this. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Porque mis pensamientos no son vuestros pensamientos. Ni vuestros caminos, mis caminos, dijo Jehová. Como son más altos los cielos que la tierra, así son mis caminos más altos que vuestros caminos y mis pensamientos más que vuestros pensamientos. You are not going to fully understand God in His ways. No siempre va a entender a, a, a Dios ni sus caminos y maneras. God is higher than we are. Dios es más alto que nosotros. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Sus pensamientos son más altos que nuestros pensamientos. His ways are not our ways. Sus caminos no son nuestros caminos. And God is always thinking and doing something. Y Dios siempre está pensando y haciendo algo. Here in this pandemic, He's doing something. En este pandemico, está haciendo algo. In different things He's doing in the world, en los diferentes cosas que estás haciendo en el mundo, He's thinking and doing something. Está pensando y haciendo algo. And usually God is doing several things or many things at the same time. Y normalmente Dios está haciendo varias cosas, muchas cosas en el mismo tiempo. We sometimes are looking for that one thing that he's doing. Nosotros está buscando esta una cosa que él está haciendo. But usually God is doing many things. Pero normalmente Dios está haciendo muchas cosas. And right now when you see this world in chaos. Y ahora que miren este mundo en caos. You say, what is God doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Dios? What does all of this mean? ¿Qué es el razón de todo eso? O el sentido de todo eso? I believe that at this time, God is doing several things. Yo creo que Dios está haciendo varias cosas. I believe God is working globally. Yo creo que Dios está, está, está trabajando globalmente. I believe God is working nationally here in the U.S., Está trabajando nacionalmente aquí en los Estados Unidos. O en México. O en México. 
I believe that he is working prophetically. Está trabajando en una manera uh, profeticamente. I believe he's working corporally in our church. Yo creo que está trabajando en nuestra iglesia. I believe he's working personally. Yo creo que está trabajando personalmente. And if you're going to try to figure God out in your mind, you're not going to do it. Y si tú vas a tratar de entender a Dios en tu mente, no es posible. I do believe God is working. Yo sí creo que Dios está trabajando. I do believe there's a plan. Yo sí creo que hay un plan. I do believe there's thoughts and ways. Yo creo que hay pensamientos y maneras y caminos. God is working. Dios está trabajando. We can't always see it. Nosotros no siempre pueden mirar. We can't imagine it. No pueden imaginar. We can't figure it out. Nosotros no pueden deducir. But God is working. Dios está trabajando. And if you need knowledge of God, you're going to have to go to the Word of God. Si necesitan conocimiento de Dios, necesitan ir a la Palabra de Dios. If any of you lack, lack wisdom, let him ask of God. Si no tiene sabiduría, piden a Dios. And where does he give his counsel? ¿Y dónde va su consejo? In his word, in su palabra. We can't figure God out. No todos no pueden deducir Dios. No pueden uh, uh, entender completamente Dios. But we can go to his word to know him better. Pero pueden ir a su palabra a conocer mejor. I want to begin a series of messages. Yo quiero empezar una serie de mensajes. And the title of this series, y el título de este mensaje es, What in the world is God doing? Y el título de esta serie de mensajes es, ¿Qué estás haciendo Dios en ese mundo? En, es, en el mundo. What is God doing? And what in the world is God doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Dios en el mundo? That's a big question. Eso es una gran pregunta. I don't have all the answers. You know, tiene lo, todos los respuestos. I believe from the Word of God we can see some things He's doing. Yo sí creo, mirando la Palabra de Dios, puede mirar ciertas cosas que Él está haciendo. And so I want to begin this morning looking at what in the world is God doing? Quiero empezar esta mañana mirando este tema, ¿Qué está haciendo Dios en el mundo? Let's pray. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, help us to look to your word for answers. To get our understanding and wisdom from you and your word. May this help somebody this morning. May it help the sinner this morning to look for you and look for answers in you. May it help the saint and encourage them that our help comes from the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, amen. And amen. One of the things that I believe that God is doing at this time in this world. Una de las cosas que yo creo que Dios está haciendo en ese mundo, en ese tiempo. God is reminding us of the uncertainty of life. God is reminding us of the uncertainty of life. Yo creo que una de las cosas que Dios está haciendo es... Dando nosotros un recuerdo que la vida no es seguro. No hay seguridad en la vida. O de la vida. No hay seguridad de la vida. Life is uncertain. Go to James chapter number 4. Vamos a Santiago capítulo 4. James 4, 13 and 14. Santiago 4, 13 y 14. James 4, 13 and 14. Santiago 4, 13 y 14. James 4, 13 and 14 says, Go to now ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Vamos ahora los que des decís, Hoy, mañana, iremos a tal ciudad y estaremos allá un año. Y uh, traficaremos y ganaremos cuando no sabías lo que será mañana. 
Porque ¿qué es vuestra vida? Ciertamente es neblina que se aparece por un poco de tiempo y luego se desvanece. Boa Taya. Me voy a decir. This has been an interesting time. Esto es un tiempo interesante. I've never gone through anything in my life like this. Nunca pasó por algo como así en mi vida. But I remember just, just a little over a month ago. Yo me acuerdo un poco de un mes. When this virus was really beginning to be talked about here. Cuando empecé realidad a platicar mucho aquí de este virus. And they were talking about the, re the things we needed to do. Hablando de las cosas que necesitan hacer. And it was, I think it was March the 15th. El, el 15 de marzo. We were still together as a church. Tuvo junto como una iglesia. And all of a sudden, from March the 15th to March the 18th, every change changed. Del 15 de marzo al 18 de marzo, todo cambió. I remember telling my wife on that Monday, I believe that would be the 16th. You might you recuerdo diciendo a mi esposa el 16. I think I need to go pick up some stuff just in case. Yo creo que necesito ir a juntar unas cosas en caso. And then all of a sudden I said, I need to go today. Yo necesito ir hoy. Because they're going to, they're, they're fixing to close things down. Va a cerrar las cosas. I couldn't believe it, really. Yo no podía creer. But you know what happened? Just like that. Different. Como así, diferente. All of a sudden, you couldn't go to every store you wanted to. De repente, no podía andar en cualquier tienda que quisiera hacer. You couldn't be where you wanted to be all the time. No podía andar donde quieren andar todo el tiempo. For my church, they'll understand this. For mi iglesia, va a entender eso. I told my wife the other day, dijo a mi esposa el otro día, I miss the 99 cent store. Extraño la tienda de 99 centavos. I miss it. Extraño. Well, I do miss it. Sí, extraño. But it changed. Todo cambió. Life is different. La vida es diferente. You can't go and do what you want to do. No pueden andar como... Get it? You say, well, this is, this is the government and this and that. This is the gobierno y todo eso. God can take it away just like that. Dios puede quitar como así. God's the one that raises up and drops kings. Dios levanta y baja los reyes. God knows what's going on. Dios sabe que está pasando. And could it be that he's trying to remind us life is uncertain? Podría ser que él está tratando de dar un recuerdo. Que no hay seguridad en la vida. Life can change like that. La vida puede cambiar como así. Life can be over just like that. La vida puede pasar como así. People just doing their own thing. La gente haciendo su propia cosa. People not concerned about spiritual things. Just thinking about where they're going and what they're going to do. La gente ni preocupado de las cosas espirituales. No vas pensando en dónde va a andar, qué vas a hacer. Living their life thinking everything's going to stay the same. Viviendo su vida pensando que la vida va a seguir igual. I'm here to tell you today, life can change just like that. Yo voy a decir, la vida puede cambiar como así. And it's not just this virus. No es nomás este virus. It's all kinds of other sicknesses. It's un montón de diferentes enfermedades. An accident can change everything. Un accidente puede cambiar todo. A natural disaster, un desastre natural. Just life, no más la vida, can change just like that. Puede cambiar como así. Many stories of athletes in very good condition. Muchas historias de uh, um, los atléticos en buenas condiciones and they'll just drop dead. Y morir ahí. Maybe playing basketball, jugando basketball, and they'll find an aneurysm. Encuentran un aneurysmo, or a problem with the heart, or un problema de corazón. Life is fragile. La vida es frágil. Life can change like that. La vida puede cambiar como así. We need to be aware that life is like a vapor. Necesitan ser consciente que la vida es como la neblina, como dicen aquí. Just like that, gone. Como así. My wife has been boiling water. Mi esposa está hirviendo el agua. So we don't have to go 
to the, to the water places, que no necesitan ir a los lugares de agua, we're just boiling water, uh, 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 hirviendo el agua. And you know what we look for a lot of times, you know what's starting to boil, is that steam. Saben que va, la neblina, miran la neblina a saber que está hirviendo. But that vapor comes up and it's gone. Este vapor, esta neblina, suben y desaparecen. Hey, that's life. Esto es la vida. In comparison to eternity, our life is very short. In comparación de la eternidad, nuestra vida es bien cortito. Could it be that God at this time has changed everything to remind us there's no certainty in life? Puede ser que Dios cambió todo ahora a dar un recuerdo a nosotros que no hay seguridad de la vida. Your life can change in a moment. Su vida puede cambiar en un momento. God's reminding us of that. We were so busy living in our own world, following our own plans, tan, tan ocupados viviendo en nuestros propios mundos, haciendo nuestros propios planes, and God changed everything. Y Dios cambió todo. God can do things to get our attention. Dios puede dar cosas, hacer cosas para agarrar nuestra atención. And if you are lost today, si tú eres perdido hoy, if you don't have Jesus as your Savior, si no tiene Cristo como tu Salvador, if you're not sure of your eternal destination, si no está seguro de su destino eterno, can I tell you this right now? Life's a vapor. La vida es un neblina. Life is short. La vida es corto. God's reminding us of the uncertainty of life. Dios está dando un recuerdo que no hay seguridad de la vida. It can change. Puede cambiar. It can be gone. Pueden quitar. Pueden cortar. They're talking about the people dying from the virus. Estás hablando de la gente muriendo del virus. There's people dying from a lot of things. Hay gente muriendo de muchas cosas. Young people are dying. Joven está muriendo. Middle-aged people. Uh, 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 gente de la edad uh, uh, intermedio. Older people. Los ancianos. Children. Los niños. Babies. Los bebés. Every day. Cada día. Life is short. La vida es corto. Life is uncertain. La vida no tiene seguridad. You need to know just like that. Everything can change. Como así, todo puede cambiar. Life is short. La vida es corto. Life is uncertain. No hay seguridad de la vida. You need to understand how short life is. Necesitan entender que tan cortito es la vida. I know. 80, 90 years looks like a long time. 80, 90 años, miran como un largo tiempo. Do you realize? Do you realize we have? It's been four months since Christmas. Hasta dar cuenta que era es cuatro meses desde la Navidad. Four months, cuatro meses. Just like that. Como así. When I was in college, the first year, the ones that were in their last year said, "Wait until you become a senior." It goes faster. Yo me acuerdo en el primer año de, de colegio que los que eran su último año dicen, cuando está en su último año, va más rápido la vida. And I said, nah. Yo dice, nah. They were right. Era correcto. I remember my parents saying, man, the older you get, the faster it goes. Yo me acuerdo mis papás diciendo, el más anciano que pone, el más de edad, el más rápido pasa el tiempo. Nah. No, no creo. They're right. Están correctos. Life passes quickly. La vida pasa rápido. Life is short. La vida es corto. All the things that you thought you were going to do, you haven't done them all. Las cosas que tú pensabas que va a hacer, no has ha sido, ha, ha ser, no pueden hacer todos. Life goes quick. La vida pasa rápido. Life is uncertain. No hay seguridad de la vida. Life is short. La vida es corto. I believe God is trying to remind us of this. Yo creo que Dios está dando un recuerdo de eso. But here's something else he's trying to tell us. 
Otra cosa que él está tratando de decir. Death is coming. Va a venir. Va a venir. La muerte. Death is coming. Va a venir. La muerte. Hebrews chapter number 9. Hebreos capítulo número 9. Hebrews chapter number 9. Hebreos capítulo 9. Verse number 27 and 28. Hebreos 9. 27 y 28. Hebrews 9, 27 and 28. Hebreos 9, 27 y 28. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Y de la manera que está establecido para los hombres que mueren una sola vez. Y después de esto, el juicio. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many, and unto them that look for him, Shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation? Así también Cristo fue ofrecido una sola vez para llevar los pecados de muchos y aparecerá por segunda vez sin relación con el pecado para salvar a los que le esperan. It is appointed unto man once to die. Y de la manera que está establecido para los hombres que mueren una sola vez. Do you realize no matter what you do, you have an appointment with death. Haz dar cuenta, haz dar cuenta que no importa que tratar de hacer, tú tienes una cita. Está establecido tu muerte. Everyone will die. Todos van a morir. Life is not secure. La vida no está seguro. Life is short. La vida es corto. And God is also reminding us death is certain and is coming. También Dios está diciendo la, la, la muerte es seguro. Está bien, va a venir. Everyone is going to die. Todos va a morir. There were those that didn't think they were going to die. Pero ellos que no pensaban que va a morir. They were living their life for themselves. Estuvo viviendo por ellos mismos. Just doing what they wanted to do. Haciendo que ellos quisiera hacer. But life ends. Pero va a acabar la vida. Turn if you would to Luke 12, 13 to 21. Lucas 12, 13 a 21. Luke 12, 13 to 21. Lucas 12, 13 a 21. Luke 12, 13 to 21. Lucas 12, 13 a 21. Yo voy a leer en inglés. Ustedes pueden seguir en español. Luke 12, 13 through 21. Lucas 12, 3, uh, um, 13 a 21. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Possesseth. Listen to this story. Escuchen esta historia. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall these things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. This is a story of a rich man who had a bountiful harvest. Es una historia de un rico que tenía una cosecha. Maravilloso, grande, grandísimo. I mean, it had so much that the barns weren't big enough to hold all of this. I mean, that's pretty amazing harvest. Uh, tenía tanto que, que los graneros no era suficiente para, para uh, uh, guardar su cosecha. And this man was blessed. Este hombre era bendecido. This man had a lot. Este hombre tenía todo. But he was all about himself. Pero era todo de él mismo. 
He didn't care about God, ni importa en Dios. He didn't care about eternity, ni importa la eternidad. He didn't care about heaven, ni importa el cielo. He didn't care about hell, ni importa el infierno. All he wanted was for him. Todo quisiera por él. He was focused on him, enfocado en él. And if you're just focused on your life, you need to understand life is short and comes to an end. Si tú no más estás enfocado en tu vida, necesitas saber que la vida es corto y va a acabar. And this man, he's I'm gonna build new barns. I'm gonna fill them up. Yo va uh, construir nuevos graneros, llenar. I'm gonna be able to live on easy street. Yo va a vivir en el calle fácil. So I'm going to throw parties every other night. Yo va a tener fiestas cada otra noche. I'm going to live how I want to live. A vivir como yo quiero vivir. Not thinking about God. No estuvo pensando en Dios. Not thinking about eternity. No estuvo pensando en la eternidad. Not thinking about heaven. No estuvo pensando en el cielo. Not worrying about hell. Hell. No era preocupado del infierno. Just, I'm going to live for me. Yo va a vivir por mí. I'm going to do my thing. Yo va a hacer mi cosa. I'm going to live my life. Yo va a vivir mi vida. Look what God tells them. Mire que Dios dice. If you look there at verse number 20, versículo 20. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Versículo 20. Pero Dios le dijo, Necio, esta noche viene a perder, perderte tu alma. There's coming a day when you're going to die. Va a venir un día que tú vas a morir. It could be today. Puede ser hoy. It could be tomorrow. Puede ser mañana. It could be a year or 10 years or 20 years. But you're going to die. Puede ser un año, dos años, diez años, veinte años. Pero tú vas a morir. And when that happens, your soul will be required. Y cuando esto pasa, como dicen aquí, uh, 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 um, Va a llegar para pedir tu alma. That is the part of you that lives forever. Eso es la parte de ti que vive por siempre. That's the real you. Esto es el esencial tú. This body is just flesh. Este, este cuerpo es no más carne. It's going back to dust. Esto va a regresar al polvo. But your soul is going to live forever. Pero tu alma va a vivir por siempre. And when death comes, y cuando venga la muerte, all the stuff of this earth is not going to matter. Todas las cosas de este mundo no valen nada. You're not going to be thinking about this world. No va a pensar en ese mundo. You're either going to be focused on going to heaven or you're going to go to hell. Va a ser enfocado en ir al cielo o tú vas a ir al infierno. Life is more than just about you. La vida es más que tú. Life is more about your, than, than your plans. La vida es más que tus planes. Life is more than getting, getting, getting. La vida es más garra, garra, garra. Life is short. Eternity is long. La vida es corto. La eternidad es largo. And you must prepare in this life for eternity. Y necesitas preparar en ese mundo por la eternidad. The rich fool. El hombre rico, el necio rico. Who all the stuff he got in this life, todo que recibió en esta vida, he died just like the rest of us are going to do. El murió como los demás va a ser. Gone. Bible talks about Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus woke up comforted, the rich man in torment. Lázaro, comportado, el rico en tormenta. I'll tell you this right now. You can... Get yourself well established on this earth, but if you are not saved, you will miss heaven and go to hell. Tú puedes cargar todo lo que quieres en este mundo, pero si tú no eres salvo, tú vas a perder el cielo y va a ir, va a ir al infierno. There was another man, el otro hombre, en Hechos 12, 20 a 24. In Acts 20, 20 through 24, there was another man. In Hechos 12, 20 a 24. Acts 12, 20 to 24. Hechos 12, 20 a 24. Acts 12, 20 to 24. Yo voy a leer otra vez en inglés. 
And Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon. They came with one accord to him, and having made Blastus the king's chamberlain, their friend, desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory, and he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. Herod, that enemy of Christianity, Herodes, uh, uh, Herodes, este enemigo de cristianidad, he comes to this town, llegó a este pueblo, he comes to reconcile with these people. Fui a reconciliar con este, estos pueblos. And he gets up and he gives this great speech. He levantar a dar un gran oración, un gran plática. The people begin to say, wow, he's a God. La gente empieza a decir, wow, él es un Dios. The Bible says the angel of the Lord immediately struck him down. La Biblia dice que inmediatamente el arco de Dios cortó su vida because he didn't give glory to God. Porque no di la gloria a Dios. And the Bible says the worms immediately began to eat him. Y la Biblia dice ahí que inmediatamente expiró comido, lo, comido de gusanos. You know that doesn't happen immediately, right? Tú sabes que esto no pasa inmediatamente, ¿verdad? But it did in this case. Pero sí, en este caso, why? God's in control of life and death. Dios está en control de la vida y la muerte. And God's reminding us, there's no certainty in life. Dios está dando recuerdo, no hay seguridad de la vida. He's reminding us life is short. La vida es corto. And He's reminding us death is coming. Él está dando recuerdo, ahí viene la muerte. Judgment is coming. Ahí viene juicio. Your soul will be required. Va a llamar por su alma. God wants you to recognize your sinful condition and recognize you need Him as your Savior. Dios quiere que tú reconozcas su condición como pecador y que necesiten a Él como salvador. In this life, in esta vida, I believe at this time, God is giving us a reminder there's no security in life. Life is uncertain. Yo creo que Dios está dando un recuerdo. No hay seguridad de la vida. I believe he's telling us life is short. Yo creo que estás diciendo la vida es corto. I believe he's trying to remind us death is coming. Está tratando de recordar, dar un recuerdo a nosotros. Ahí viene la muerte. Judgment is coming. Ahí venga la muerte. Ahí venga el juicio. And then I believe at this time God is giving out a great call to the sinner. Yo también creo que Dios está dando un gran llamada al pecador. He's saying, life is short. Está diciendo, la vida es corto. Death is coming. Ahí viene la muerte. You've got to be right with me. Necesiten correcto conmigo. He's saying, you must be saved. Deben ser salvo. You must be born again. Deben nacer de nuevo. Come to Christ. Vení a Cristo. He's calling. Está llamando. Let's go back to where we started in Isaiah 55. Vamos a regresar a donde empecé en Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. We're going to read verse 1, and then we're going to read verse 6 and 7. Va a leer versículo 1 y versículo 6 y 7. Remember what this passage says. My thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. Recuerda que dijo este pasaje. Mis pensamientos no son vuestros pensamientos, ni vuestros caminos, mis caminos, dijo Jehová. He has a different way. Él tiene diferente camino. Our way is, I'm not even going to worry about eternity. Nuestro manera o camino es, yo ni va a pensar en la eternidad. Our way is, I don't even think there's a God. Nuestro camino es, Yo ni creo que hay un Dios. Our way is, oh, God is love. He'll take everybody to heaven. Nuestro camino es, Dios es amor. Él va a llevar todos al cielo. Our way is, well, if I go to church, I'll be okay. Nuestro camino es, si yo voy a ir a la iglesia, esto va a estar bien. Our way is, if I am good enough, 
or work hard enough, I'll go to heaven. Nuestro camino es, si yo trabajo suficiente, si yo soy uh, 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 um, maravilloso, si yo soy bueno en la vida, no va a llegar al cielo. That's our way. Esto es nuestro camino. That's our thoughts. Esto es nuestros pensamientos. But here's what God says. Pero esto es que Dios dice. Verse 1 says, Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. A todos los sedientos, venir a las aguas. Y los que no tienen dinero, venir, comprar y comer. Venir, comprar sin dinero y sin precio, vino y leche. What is he talking about? ¿Qué estás hablando? In John 4, he says that he is the water of life. In Juan 4, él dice que él es uh, el agua de la vida. He's the living water. Es el agua viviente. Your salvation doesn't depend on you, but on the living water. Tu salvación no depende en ti, pero en el agua viviente. Look at verse 6 and 7. Mi versículo 6 y 7. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God says, look for me. Dios dice, buscan a mí. God says, search for me while I can be found. Busca a mí cuando pueden encontrar. Call on me while I am near. Uh, 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 llamadme en tanto que está cercano. God is saying, now is the time for you to look for me. Dios está diciendo, ahora es el tiempo de buscar a mí. Now is the time to come to the living water. Ahora es el tiempo de venir a la, a la agua viviente. Now is the time to find forgiveness of sins. Ahora es el tiempo a encontrar perdón de los pecados. Verse 7 says, Y que se, uh, el cual será amplio en perdonar. For he will abundantly pardon. Come to him. Forsake your way. Turn to Christ. Venir a él. Uh, 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 déjese limpio su camino. El hombre inucio sus pensamientos. Change your thoughts. Turn to Christ. Cambiar su pensamiento. Dar la vuelta a Cristo. Quit thinking in your own mind. Ya para de ser convencido en su propio mente. Start to realize my ways are not his ways. Dar cuenta que tus caminos no son sus caminos. Your thoughts are not his thoughts. Tus pensamientos no son los pensamientos de él. He is saying, sinner, come to me. Pecador, venir a mí. Sinner, turn to me. Pecador, dar la vuelta a mí. Sinner, change your mind about salvation. Pecador, cambia su mente de salvación. Come to me, venir a mí. Be saved, ser salvo. Receive forgiveness. Recibió perdón. Whew. I'm glad that I quit trusting in myself. Yo soy agradecido. Que paró de confiar en mí mismo. I'm glad that in January 1992. Yo soy agradecido que en enero 1992. I turned to Christ. Yo di la vuelta a Cristo. I bowed my heart. Yo inclinó mi corazón. I asked him to forgive me. Yo pedí perdón a él. I realized I was a sinner. Yo reconoció que yo era pecador. And I turned to Christ. Yo di la vuelta a Cristo. I trusted the living water. Yo confió en el agua viviente. I received the living water. Recibió el agua viviente, the spiritual water, el agua espiritual, and I have never thirsted again. Y nunca tenía sed otra vez. Physically, yes. Físicamente, sí. Spiritually, no. Espiritualmente, no. You can be saved. Tú puedes ser salvo. All that's going on, todo lo que está pasando, you can see God's mercy. Puedo mirar la misericordia de Dios. You know why? You're still living. Puedo mirar porque tú todavía estás viviendo. You had an opportunity this morning to hear the word of God. 
Tú tenés oportunidad a escuchar la palabra de Dios. And you have a chance today. Y tú tienes un chance hoy. To receive the living water. A recibir el agua viviente. To come to Christ. A venir a Cristo. To listen to the call. A escuchar la llamada. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Los que claman en el nombre de Cristo va a ser salvo. The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. El Espíritu y el Novio dicen, Ven. God is calling. Dios está llamando. He's saying, Pay attention. Life is uncertain. Estás diciendo, Pone atención. La vida. No hay seguridad de la vida. He's saying, Pay attention. Life is short. Pone atención. La vida es corto. Pay attention. Death and judgment are coming. Pone atención, va a venir la muerte y el juicio. And then he's saying, listen to my call. Escuchen mi llamado. And he says, everyone that searcheth, come ye to the water. A todos los sedientos, venir a las aguas. Are you tired of your sin? ¿Está cansado de su pecado? Are you concerned about eternity? ¿Está preocupado de la eternidad? Come to Christ. Venía a Cristo. He already died for your sin. Ya murió por su pecado. He already gave his blood to wash away your sin. Ya di su sangre a limpiar sus pecados. He already was buried and rose again. Ya era sepultado y resucitó. He has the power to save. Tiene el poder de salvar. He wants you to go to heaven. Quiere que va a ir al cielo. He doesn't want to send you to hell. No quiere mandar al infierno. But the decision is yours. Pero la decisión es tuyo. Are you going to pay attention? Va a poner atención? Are you going to pay attention to what he's trying to say? Va a poner atención a él que él quiere decir? And are you going to listen to the call? Va a escuchar la llamada? It's being given this morning. Están dando en esta mañana. And will you turn to Christ and be saved? Dar la vuelta a Cristo y ser santo. Simply... Crying out and asking him to save you and to forgive you and to help you. No más clamando a Dios pidiendo su salvación, su perdón y su ayuda. You can do that today. Tú puedes decir esto en esta mañana. Doesn't matter with a fancy word. The important palabras bonitas. Just from your heart, cry out to God for salvation. De su corazón, clamar a Dios por su salvación. Be saved today. Ser salvo hoy. You must make the decision. Tú deben hacer la decisión. You must come to Christ. Tú deben venir a Cristo. And we're going to give you a couple of moments to do that. Va a darte a ti unos momentos a hacer esto. I'm going to sing. And then I'm going to pray. Yo va a cantar y va a orar. And in that time, trust Christ. En este tiempo, confiar en Cristo. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. T'was blind, but now I see. Heavenly Father, convict the sinner. Call the lost. Give them another chance. May they come to you today. May your word not return void in their life. Dear God, save the sinner today. May they pay attention to what's going on and realize life is uncertain. Life is short. Death and judgment is coming. And you're calling now for them to come to the living water. But they must 
repent and turn to you. Help the sinner this morning. Help the saved to have a burden for the sinner this morning. God help us. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. What a blessing to be with you. And we're going to do something today. I had somebody uh, remind me of this. It's a good idea. We want you, if you need prayer or need to talk to someone, quieren que ustedes, si, si necesitan oración, um, we want you, if, if you have a need, si tú tienes una necesidad, if you want to be saved and need someone to talk with you, si quieren ser salvo y quieren que alguien hablan, we're putting our phone number right now. Está poniendo nuestro número de teléfono, 956-423-8075-956-423-8075. There's our Gmail, our, our, our uh, email account. Uh, ahí está la cuenta de, de email. You can either call us or email us. Tú puedes llamar o poner el email. We're going to leave this up for a minute or two. Va a dejar esto uno momento o dos. Uh, and let you uh, write it down. Tú puedes escribir. If you need help, you call us or you send us an email. Si necesitan ayuda, llaman o mandan una, uh, un correo de email. And uh, to the best of our ability, we'll try to pray for, we will pray for you and we'll try to help you. Uh, en más uh, nuestra habilidad va a orar y tratar de ayudar. If you need spiritual help, we're here. Si tú quieres ayuda espiritual, estamos aquí. I'm going to put that back up for a minute or two. Uh, but I just want to say I love you. Quieren decir que aman. I'm praying for you. Está orando por ti. We will see each other soon here, there, or in the air. Va a mirar unos a los otros. Aquí, allá, o en el aire. And we'll be back tonight at 6 o'clock. Va a regresar en la tarde a las 6 p.m. Tonight at 6. O en la tarde a las 6 p.m. I'm going to leave the... Phone number and email up there for a couple of minutes. Yo voy a dejar el número de teléfono y el uh, correo por unos momentos si tú necesitas escribir. Amen. Someday I must cross this chilly dark world.